Hey guys, I hope that you are still enjoying your home. I wanted to touch base with you and remind you about the tax bills that are coming out from the county right now. Everyone will receive their tax bill for their property taxes by the end of October, so you guys may have already seen it. Now, if you're paying your taxes and insurance and your payment each month, this bill will also be sent to the mortgage company. You don't have to worry about sending the bill that you received to the mortgage company. They're going to get a copy of it too. And when they receive it, they're going to pay out the taxes for you. So don't worry about getting that bill and having to pay it if you already have that as a part of your payment each month. If you don't escrow, so if you don't have your taxes and insurance in your payment each month, you do you will be responsible for paying those taxes. Uh, the deadline will be on your tax bill, and they have um, they have a time period on there when it's considered late and when they'll start charging fees, which is typically around January, February. But you do have you do have the responsibility to make that payment yourself if your taxes and insurance are not in your payment. One of the things that you'll want to look at when you're checking out your tax bill is what the county is assessing your property value at. And so if you notice that the value has increased, it means that your taxes are increasing. If you notice that they've stayed the same, then nothing will happen with your taxes um, or your monthly payment if it's in your taxes. And if it's lower, then that's a good thing because then that means your taxes are lower. So if it has increased, one of the things that you may want to do is go ahead and dispute it with the county. Um, typically there's forms on each county website if you look up the central appraisal district for your county. So for instance, Dallas County Central Appraisal District. If you Google that, you'll be able to find the website where you can find the forms to dispute your values and such. If you have any questions, please feel free to call me. Uh, my phone number here is 972-278-4651. And as always, if you guys are looking to purchase again or if you guys have any friends or family that are looking to purchase or refinance, please shoot them over my information. Thanks. You guys have a great day.